Temptations are great. Satan tells us that black is white. He lies to us. Therefore, we must be prepared. We need the whole armor of God that we may withstand. We must quench the fiery darts of the wicked with the shield of truth. President Spencer W. Kimball. We were dressed in our home each morning, not only with hats and raincoats and boots to protect us from physical storm, but even more carefully, our parents dressed us each day in the armor of God as we would kneel in family prayer and listen to our Father, a bearer of the priesthood, pour out his soul to the Lord for the protection of his family against the fiery darts of the wicked, one more layer was added to our shield of faith. While our shield was being made strong, theirs was always available, for they were available, and we knew it. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world. So you guys going to the party? No, it's not for me. Come on, Paul, lighten up, man. It's gonna be a great party. Yeah. That's exactly why I'm not going. <laughs> Give me a break. So what about you, Greg? Are you coming? I don't know, you guys. It's really not our kind of party, man. Hey, you guys, let's go to the party. <laughs> Come on, Greg. Come on, guys. There you go.
There are two powers on the earth, the power of God and the power of the devil. When God has had a people on the earth, it matters not in what age. Lucifer, the son of the morning and the millions of fallen spirits that were cast out of heaven, have warred against God, against Christ, against the work of God, and against the people of God. The war goes on. It is waged in our own lives, day in and day out, in our homes, in our work, in our school associations. It is waged over questions of love and respect, of loyalty and fidelity, of obedience and integrity. The victims who fall are as precious as those who've fallen in the past. It is an ongoing battle. I don't know. Everybody makes it seem like it's so easy to repent. Wherefore, take upon you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Without a sword, without a shield I take my sword and shield each day When I kneel down and humbly pray I take my place in the ranks of you I learn his word and I love the truth Prepare to do my part in this war. I know what it is I'm fighting for. With helmet in place, with sword in hand, with the shield of faith, we are worthy to stand. With the gospel of peace, our feet are shine. Glad you came, Greg. I'll make you a deal. What? I don't want to see you at my homecoming. But I want to be to yours, okay? I'm working on it. When fear whispers that I cannot win, I put on his strength and rise again. I heard so many. 